The great yellow sun is reflecting in your deep blue eyes. The day has begun. You spin around, you spin around, you laugh to yourself. And I see you shine in every color, resting your head in my arms. You sing la la la. It's Mickey and today we are in the kitchen where I am going to be sharing with you some really simple freezer crock pot meals that will be perfect to have on hand as we enter into this busy holiday season. So if you are new here and you like DIY, decor, organizing, cooking, and planning videos, I hope you'll take a minute to subscribe. I put out new videos every week about all things home. My crock pot has become my best friend over the last several years. It's good to know that you can load it up in the morning, go about your day, and have a great meal waiting for the family at night. The only thing that makes it even better are freezer crock pot meals. Today I'm taking about an hour out of my Sunday and putting together five awesome recipes to store in my freezer to bring out on those busy nights that you know are coming up with the beginning of the holiday season. Before we get started, I wanted to share with you some of the things that you're going to need to put together any of the freezer meals that we're going to be talking about today. Of course, the most important thing that you're going to need is some gallon size freezer bags. I always use Ziploc. They're just the ones that I always reach for. They've never let me down over the years. Now you're also going to need some type of container or frame that will allow you to stand up your bag so you can fill it up easily. I'll leave some links down below um, to some frames that you can find on Amazon that are specifically for this purpose, but if you have a container container like this, this works just as easily as well too. The other thing you'll need is just some kind of Sharpie marker to write on your freezer bag exactly what is inside and any cooking instructions you may have. The other thing that you will need is just a list of all the freezer meals that you're going to make in the day. I always write down the full recipes so that I can easily put them together with, you know, without second guessing myself. Today we are gonna make a few of these recipes and some of them we are going to double up so that we can have multiple meals out of them. These are some really good simple recipes so I'm sure you probably have most of the ingredients already in your pantry today. So basically that is what you're going to need to get started, so let's jump in. The first thing we are making today is honey glazed chicken. I already have my bag all written out with the name of the meal that is inside. We're going to cook it on low for eight hours or high for four hours. So here I have a little over three pounds of chicken breast. I have about a tablespoon and a half of balsamic vinegar, a half a cup of honey. I have my regular seasonings, which is always salt and pepper, Mrs. Dash, garlic powder. I also have some red pepper flakes and paprika. Season your chicken really well with the salt and pepper, Mrs. Stash, garlic powder, paprika, red pepper flakes, and I also added a teaspoon of chili powder. Never be afraid to season your dish really well. Use all of your family's favorite seasonings for something that they will really love. Place your chicken inside of the Ziploc bag and add the honey and balsamic vinegar. Zip the bag closed and knead the ingredients together just a little bit to be sure that the chicken is fully coated and you have your first freezer crock pot meal recipe done. Next up, we're gonna be making smothered pork chops. So I have my bag all written out with what's gonna be inside, and we're gonna cook it on low for six to eight hours. So for this recipe, you are going to need four to six center cut pork chops. I have six here. You'll need a packet of pork gravy, a packet of Lipton onion soup mix, one cup of water, a can of cream of chicken soup, salt and pepper, garlic powder and Mrs. Stash, and you'll need about a teaspoon or so of the better than bouillon, either the um, vegetable kind or the chicken kind. 
Season the pork chops really well with the salt and pepper, Mrs. Stash, and garlic powder. Be sure to season both sides in every recipe. The more spices you put in now, the better the results will be in the end. Place the pork chops in the Ziploc bag and mix together in a medium bowl the cream of mushroom soup, the gravy pork packet, Lipton onion soup mix, and the cup of water. I like to use a small whisk for this to be sure that this combo is as smooth as possible. Pour this mixture over the pork chops, zip the bag closed, and knead the ingredients together just a little bit to be sure that the pork chops are fully coated and recipe number two is done. Next up, we're going to be making some barbecue beef. For this recipe, I'm going to be using a London broil. I have our bag all set to go. Um, it's going to be cooked for eight hours on low. Now this is a very economical and budget friendly cut of beef and great for the crock pot because with the extended cooking time, it really does become so tender and delicious. And for this recipe, you're just going to need some garlic powder, Mrs. Dash, salt and pepper, a little bit of chili powder, and some barbecue sauce. This is about um, a half a cup here, but you can really add as much as you want, and you can change around the seasonings for the things that your family loves the most. I will be putting, of course, all these recipes in the description box down below for you. Now this recipe is pretty self-explanatory. Just season your beef really well on both sides, place in your Ziploc bag, and add the barbecue sauce. I also added a little bit of hot sauce and Worcestershire sauce, and you can also throw in some chopped onions as well. When you are doing several freezer meals like we're doing today, be sure to wash your surfaces thoroughly and change out the utensils that you use for each recipe. Remember to wash your hands between each meal as well, just to be sure that there is no cross contamination. So next up, we are gonna be making some beef stroganoff. Now this recipe is a little bit different because we are gonna be taking our ground meat and we are going to cook it thoroughly before we put it um, in our freezer bag. Since the meat is going to be cooked all the way through, when we take it out of the freezer to cook it up for dinner, we're only gonna be cooking it on low for six hours. So to make this a little bit more um, flavorful and a little bit more spicy, I'm gonna be using one pound of ground beef and one pound of ground sausage. I also have a packet of Lipton onion soup mix here. I have some garlic. We're gonna chop up a large onion. We'll need a little bit of sour cream, two cans of cream of mushroom soup, some Worcestershire sauce. We're gonna be chopping up about two to three cups of fresh mushrooms, and of course we'll be using our garlic powder, Mrs. Dash, and salt and pepper. I have my large saute pan all set to go to brown up the meat, and I also have just a dish here with some paper towels on it so that I can drain the meat and cool it thoroughly before I add it to my freezer bag. While the meat is cooking, I'm going to chop up this medium onion and mince about three to four cloves of garlic. I'm also gonna chop up about five of these really large mushrooms and I'll be setting this all aside until the meat is completely cooled. So I've had this sitting now for about 20 minutes or so, and the meat is nice and cool, so we are ready to assemble our freezer meal. Start by adding the cooled meat, onions, garlic, and mushrooms to the bag. Then in a small bowl, combine your sour cream, cream of mushroom soup, Worcestershire sauce, Lipton onion soup mix, and the seasonings. Mix really well with a spoon until well combined and add to your bag. Now your bag is gonna be really full, so you can use a wooden spoon to combine the mixture in the bag until all the liquids are well distributed. 
Whenever I do freezer meals, I always include this recipe. This has been one of our favorites for the last couple years. This is for pesto ranch chicken, and I originally got this recipe from Kimmy on um, She's in Her Apron, and our family really loves this. We like it so much because you can have it a bunch of different ways. Our favorite way to eat this is all shredded up with provolone cheese on those really nice Italian rolls. It's a great sandwich to have, you know, along with a really good bowl of soup or a big side salad. We just love it. So for this recipe, you are going to need um, four large boneless, skinless chicken breasts. You're gonna need about a cup or so of chicken broth, a packet or three tablespoons of dry ranch dressing mix. You'll need about six to eight ounces of prepared pesto. This is from Costco. This is my favorite one. I can get two of these recipes out of this container. You'll also need, of course, some garlic powder and Mrs. Dash and salt and pepper. Now, Kimmy's original recipe doesn't include seasoning the chicken beforehand, but I always start off with my holy trinity of seasoning, salt and pepper, garlic powder, and Mrs. Stash. I just think it adds some really great flavor to any recipe. Once the chicken is in your freezer bag, mix the pesto ranch dressing and one cup of chicken broth until well combined. Add it to your bag and knead it until the chicken is well coated with the sauce and this recipe is complete. So this is the stack of different freezer meals that I made today. I doubled each of these recipes for a total of 10 different meals. It took me a little over an hour to complete them, and now my freezer is stocked and ready for the busy days ahead. Check the description box down below for all the recipes that I did today, and if you guys really like these types of videos, let me know. I have so many more recipes that I can share with you. Thank you all so much for watching today. Please join our communities over on Facebook and Instagram at My Bashful Life. And don't forget to subscribe. I'd love to have you all back as part of our YouTube family. So until I see you in that next video, I hope that you love the life that you have. Be kind to each other, stay safe, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.